Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled, What Kind of Pipe Smoker Do You Want to Be? Now this video is targeted more toward the new pipe smoker and the intermediate pipe smoker. You are a pipe smoker who has learned how to smoke a pipe. You know how to pack it, you know how to light it, you know how to smoke it where the bowl stays cool and you get the most flavor out of your tobacco. So you probably purchased either a basket pipe or a corn cob pipe and one of the blends that someone either in the YouTube pipe community, myself included, or a friend of yours suggested you start with. So now you've come to a fork in the road. You know you want to continue to smoke your pipe, but how do you go about it? What kind of pipe smokers are there out there? And which one do you think matches what, how you want to continue your pipe smoking journey? First, I wanna tell you what influenced me to start smoking a pipe. Uh, I have told you this in the past, but uh, my primary uh, reason was because of reading about pipe smokers in The Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy, uh, J.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. But my secondary influence was my grandfather. My grandfather smoked a pipe. Now, I know that's a cliche because 90% of the people I talk to about pipe smoking, their grandfather smoked a pipe. But I've got a picture of my grandfather actually holding a pipe, so I wanted to share that with you today. So here's a picture of my grandfather. Uh, and in his right hand, you can see that he's holding a pipe. Um, my grandfather was a carpenter. He was a farmer. He was a, uh, he owned a grocery store at one time. Uh, he built his own house and lived in it until he died. Um, but we'll talk more about my grandfather um, when I get to the type of pipe smoker he is. All right, now there's a huge amount of types of pipe smokers out there. I'm just going to touch on about four of them today. Um, the first one I want to talk to you about is what I, what I call the pipe collector. Now this individual smokes a pipe, but his primary goal is the collection of pipes. Um, it's just like collecting anything else, stamps or coins, except their pipes. Now this individual will go to pipe shows, will go online to eBay, to brick and mortar stores, and he will kind of look over the pipes that they've got and say, ooh, I love that one. And they'll bring them home. Usually those, those pipe smokers, um, by the time they have ended their life, their pipe smoking life, will have anywhere from 500 to 1,000 pipes. Um, I knew an individual who was a pipe collector and when he passed away and the family put up his pipes for auction, um, a lot of his pipes still had the sticker on them showing, showing how much the pipe was. He basically would go to the pipe store, see a pipe, buy it, and he would put it in his collection, never taking the sticker off. Now these individuals, um, they may have two or three, four different blends that they like smoking, and they usually smoke anywhere from 20 to 30 of those pipes that they have in their collection. Now the next pipe type of pipe smoker is the tobacco connoisseur. Now this individual is the polar opposite of the pipe collector. They collect pipe blends. Uh, they may have anywhere from 150 to 500 different blends in their collection. Most of them are in their cellar, uh, but they do have probably a hundred different blends that they're that are available to them to smoke. Uh, they may own anywhere from 15 to 25 pipes, uh, but their main goal is to enjoy the multiple different flavors that there are out there. Um, there's the Latakias, there's the Virginias, there's the Aromatics, there's, uh, they just really enjoy um, uh, delving into the different textures, the different flavors um, of the different tobaccos that are out there that you can purchase today. 
Now, the third uh, type of pipe smoker is what I call the specific pipe smoker. Now, the specific pipe smoker is an individual who has found a specific type of pipe that they like, uh, a specific maker, a uh, specific uh, shape, uh, and a specific um, rustication. Uh, also, they enjoy anywhere from 25 to 50 different types of blends. They also enjoy uh, the different textures and the different flavors, um, and but they only have a specific pipe that they purchase and use. I would consider myself in that type, in this uh, pipe smoker category, because I found that I really enjoy one specific pipe, the Savinelli Porta Cuervo 121 pot. Now, I used to enjoy, and I still like it, I just can't smoke it anymore, the Savinelli Porta Cuervo 320 author, but because of health reasons, it got just too heavy for my mouth, causing my teeth to hurt, um, I had to switch to a lighter pipe. So. I have seven of those pipes that I use Monday through Friday, and then I have an eighth pipe that I use for aromatic blends, and then I have four spares. So if one of those should burn out, or if uh, it should crack or break, then I have one to replace it. I also enjoy 20, you know, there are probably, I have anywhere from 15 to 25 tobaccos in my rotation. Uh, I do have others that I smoke um, occasionally, uh, and then I do have others that I smoke uh, during specific months or during specific um, holidays. Uh, but I consider myself a specific pipe smoker. Now the last category that I want to talk about is what I call the utility pipe smoker. Now the utility pipe smoker is, was more prevalent during the 50s, 60s, and 70s because at that time a pipe smoker could smoke anywhere. They could go to the grocery store, they could go to um, they could go to the mall, they could go to uh, restaurants, uh, office buildings, they can go pretty much anywhere. But today it's a lot different. You pretty much can't smoke anything, a pipe or cigarettes or anything, anywhere. You can't smoke them in a grocery store, can't smoke them in a office building, can't smoke them in the mall. So now that type of pipe smoker is a little bit limited to where they can smoke their pipe. My grandfather was a utility pipe smoker. Uh, he uh, would get out his pipe, fill it with tobacco. Now before we get too far, a utility pipe smoker is a, is a pipe smoker that pretty much smokes one blend out of one type of pipe. My grandfather smoked one blend. The blend he smoked was Prince Albert. And during Christmas time, which I've told you in other videos, all the grandkids would buy him a tin of Prince Albert for his present. And he probably didn't have to buy tobacco again until the following Christmas. Um, and he smoked it out of one specific pipe. Now let me show you that pipe. Uh, this is the pipe that my grandfather smoked. Uh, my uncle had it and he thought that I should have it because out of the family I'm the only one that really smokes a pipe religiously like he did. Uh, so this is the this is his his pipe, uh, the last one that we could find. And he really he never really had more than two pipes at a time because of financial reasons. He was very poor. Um, he didn't have a lot of money, so he could only afford a couple of pipes at a time. But he would get up in the morning, he'd fill his pipe, light it, and then he'd be off. He'd go to the grocery store, and he'd be smoking his pipe. He'd go to the mall, meet up with his buddies, smoking his pipe. He'd go to a restaurant with his wife, smoking his pipe. So, he smoked his pipe pretty much all day, every day. Uh, and my uncle also told me that he broke quite a few pipes. So he'd be out in the field smoking his pipe and he'd get finished and he'd put it in his pocket 
And next thing you know, he'd hear a snap because he would bend down and forget it was there. Well, I asked him, I said, well, he, you know, he wasn't a rich man. How could he afford to do that? He said he could afford to do that because he smoked very uh, inexpensive pipes. He would go to the um, drugstore and buy um, whatever was there. Uh, Dr. Grabo was his favorite. So he would go to the drugstore and buy Dr. Grabo's, smoke them until he broke them, and then he'd go and buy another one. Uh, so like I said, he only had a couple of pipes at a time. But he only smoked one blend, which was Prince Albert, and he only had a couple of those pipes uh, at any one time. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.